Hello again and welcome back to Illegally Cited. This is Jesse aka BGFH and I am back for another kind of a technology tip video. I haven't done one of these in quite a while um, but the, the uh, April 2018 Windows 10 update recently came out and they added a feature that I think is going to be really really helpful for some people, myself included. And I think a lot of people might actually end up overlooking it. So I wanted to show you guys something really cool that they added in the April update of Windows 10 for 2018 here. So prior to this update, you had, I have a shortcut here, um, your volume mixer. I'll turn magnifier on for any low vision users here. So, you know, you've always, since Windows 7 anyway, you've always been able to adjust your... Um, your audio for each application separately. You have your master volume, but then you have each specific app volume. Let me drag this out here. We've got a whole bunch of applications open. We've got some Steam, Bandicam, why this iCloud thing? I don't know, <laughs> but it's apparently running in the background. But so that's been a nice thing, you know, especially if you are an assistive technology user, like a screen reader user, especially, you can you know, have your screen reader volume high and then open any background audiobook or like music or, you know, a movie or whatever, podcast, and you can have that lower so it's much easier to do the mixing and like you can still listen to music while you work and not have everything drown out. It makes it very, very helpful. <coughs> I was very happy when that ha that feature came out in Windows 7 because even like an XP... It was kind of an all-or-nothing deal unless, uh, you know, all-or-nothing volume deal unless you had, your program had some feature, like I know the old Winamp, you could adjust it separately back in the day. But now, with the spring update, or the April 2018 update, if I type in app volume, which is kind of the way I re saw it referred to on Twitter, that it get clued me into this new feature, on the top of the strip menu here, our first option is Sound Mixer Options. I'm going to click that. And this is really cool because so now we have, I've got my dark theme going here for my settings uh, settings thing. You can also get this through the settings app and like your sound, like your system and audio devices or whatever the heck it's called. But I, I'm a firm believer, like it, it's just so much more, it's so much quicker, so much convenient just to kind of type in to the search box in your start menu what you're looking for. Boom, app volume. Yep, it knows what I want. So you have your master volume here uh, for everything. And then you also are given input and output. So output here, input there. So for everything overall, I can say, do I want it to go through any speakers I have hooked up? Do I want it to go through my headphones if I have any hooked up? Maybe I have a VR headset like an Oculus Rift, which I do. If I wanted, I could dump everything through there. Or I could have my microphone, my headset microphone be the input and my speaker is the output if I really wanted to. That's not the cool part. So the cool part down here is you can do this on, an, on a per app basis. So I'll remember all those apps that I have open. Just like before, I have the volume sliders here. <clears throat> but now for each program or each application, I can also change my output an input and I can see a couple of really good uses and I've already made use of it uh, just a few minutes before recording this video. Um, yeah, I remember back in the day my friend and I used to try to do a few we did a couple of uh, you know weddings we did a couple of DJ you know DJ for a couple of wedding dances and you kinda had to be a little creative about like okay you don't want the screen reader going through um, you know, you don't want everybody else hearing the screen reader, but now it's really easy. You could have the master thing, everything going through your headset, and then you could say, okay, my music application, I'm going to have that audio output through the speakers, and that's the only thing they're ever going to hear through the speakers. So it's a very simple, clean way. You don't really need an audio mixer or anything like that. You could do it that way. The other use that I found that is really helpful for me is I've had in the past, I've had some experiences, some both through Steam and a couple through the Oculus 
uh, store a couple of games and applications, and I've complained about it on other videos. Um, like, I've had to go in and futz with things to try to get it to switch, and it was kind of messy. Um, Steam, you could kind of get around it. I don't know of a way to do it through the Oculus app specifically. Um, oh, what was there's like that uh, there was that futuristic race Redout racing game Redout. That was one where um, it wanted to go through my headphones, not my Rift audio, and I had to do some futzing with Steam VR and try to you know the VR interface and go through the inputs and outputs there, <clears throat> and then. Um, I showed you guys Little Star VR. I showed you the that application, and I showed you you know that uh, disturb the sound of silence video, which I still love and I wanted to watch again fairly recently. Well, one of their updates actually had a I don't know what they did. Uh, you could launch the app. You could <clears throat> when you navigated the menus, you would hear the little bloop bloop. You hear any sound effects through the Rift headset, but when you actually went to play a video, it would not go through the Rift, which obviously is a real bummer, and I couldn't figure out how in the heck to get it back, other than going through and changing my whole system volume back and forth. I didn't really want to do that every time I wanted to watch a video or two. So now, and I can confirm this works, having launched the app, and, and uh, once I launched the little star vr app i kind of lifted up my headset went into this little interface i saw my little star vr app appear in the list i switched the output to from default to my rift audio or my headphones rift audio and uh flipped my headset back down went to play a video boom worked like a charm so there are going to be periodically sometimes, like I said, I found, and I wish I could remember what they were now, because there's probably been a good half a dozen, if not a dozen or so, little apps or games that I've tried over in the past <coughs> that have not went through the Rift headset. And a couple of them, I think, were like some, you know, documentary style things or things that kind of looked interesting. Uh, but I wasn't able to watch them. And now Windows 10 just makes it super easy without having to change all of your default, overall default sound devices. Um, this is a really, really cool feature. And I'm sure you can probably think of other uh, applications, Not like I said, not just having the volume control, but also having the control for application-specific input and output devices should you have multiple uh, audio inputs and outputs, uh, speakers, microphones, headsets, whatever. So that's just a quick little thing that I found to be very, very helpful in the April 2018 Windows 10 update. Thank you, Microsoft, for adding this. I guarantee I will be using this probably quite a bit in the future, and maybe I might even see if I can pin this sucker to my taskbar instead of the old volume mixer um, and uh, we'll give that a shot but hope you guys found this helpful follow me on twitter at bgfh79 like the video if you liked it and uh, subscribe hope you guys enjoyed the video until next time I'll talk to you guys again later